I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here. This week, we are here checking out Planet of the Bass by Kyle Gordon. Uh, featuring DJ Crazy Times and Miss Biljana Electronica. If this is your first time here, yes, I am a comedy musician and I react exclusively to comedy music. What that means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not laughing over the jokes or talking over the jokes in the song and missing jokes, and also so that I can kind of give my analysis onto how the video works with the lyrics, uh, how they work in tandem to help enhance the jokes or not. Uh, sometimes that means even explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes it means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot, whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, exclusive reactions, like the Stupendium's The Ribbon reaction. It's not a comedy song, but people wanted me to react to that one, so that is exclusively over on Patreon, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive in to Kyle Gordon's Planet of the Bass. Now, this song came out a couple months ago. Uh, this was very popular on TikTok and on uh, formerly Twitter. Uh, Kyle released a couple of clips of this as, like, what every 90s electronica song sounded like. And it was Planet of the Bass. This is the full video, however. Now, when Kyle was releasing some of these online, he'd release one, and then a couple days later, it was the same section of the song, but the person who was Biljana Electronica was a different woman. And they did it three times. So there were three different Biljana Electronicas. And I'm guessing DJ Crazy Times would be Kyle Gordon's character. Um, but uh, this blew up. This has got millions of views already. Uh, based on that, so that is phenomenal. Kyle has released a couple other songs since then, uh, and I will be checking those out later, but for now we are just checking out the planet of the bass. Uh, so I'm excited to dive into this because I've not seen the full version, I've only seen the clips online. Let's check out the full thing. Alert! Alert! DJ Crazy Times! Oh right, it's every Euro dance song. Every 90s Euro dance song from the 90s and 2000s. Uh, not just electronic song, but Euro dance specifically. Um, that's why we had a translation <laughs> on the screen. That's, uh, yeah. Alert! Alert! DJ Crazy Times! If you want parties to be making, have some noise! <laughs> If you want parties to be making, have some noise. That's that's the other genius part of some of these songs, is like the bad translation to English that the lyrics clearly went through. And also, I love the lyrics lighting up as if even this spoken word part is a sing-along. That's genius. Uh, Bratislava? I don't know where that is. I don't know if that's a real place. I could be wrong, but if I'm wrong, let me know. But I think that was made up for this so that we're not offending any actual places with bad translations. Whatever. Eh, comedy. Rocky Slava! All the women in the world! Let me see your beautiful faces! <laughs> oh, I've got an idea. World peace! <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea. World peace. Like, it's like, it just came to him. This is the brilliant idea that will help. World peace. <laughs> and then Planet of the Base comes up. Uh, there are some great lines in the clips that we've seen. Let's see if they, they make it to the final song. I'm sure they will, but I'll, I'll put it out as to one of my favorite lines I've heard already. Uh... This is clearly much longer than those clips. It's three and a half minutes, but... With the spaceship and aliens, clear masks, 
so good. Oh! Bill John and Electronica, there was two different versions there, I think. Make a fun. There's there's a certain amount of things that seem to get lost in translation. And that, that happens sometimes with colloquial phrases or, or idioms uh, that don't quite translate into English or from English into another language. Uh, sometimes that's a reason why I explain jokes so, so many times, because I know I have an international audience sometimes that watches these. Um, having that, it, it's almost like putting a song into Google Translate from whatever language into English, and then translating that English translation back into the original language, and then back into English again, it loses a lot of the finesse and meaning behind a lot of the phrases in the translation, and I see this happening a lot with this. I, that's really kind of what it, it seems like. I, there's a person who... God, I, my nose itches like crazy. I, I'm very stuffy today because I, I, it's winter. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm sorry. Uh, but like there was, a, there was an artist who used to do Google Translates of popular pop songs where they would translate into, into a different language in Google and then translate it back into English and then sing that version. Um, which was genius, really, really funny stuff. And uh, my no my also my mustache is just going up my nose. Uh, so I get I get that feeling from this, although it's like 100% original. So. Take your heart into a unicorn. Yeah, that's something that seems like it got lost in translation. What the hell does that mean? Who knows? Who cares? It's a great line. If the sky is not green, but the sky is blue, have a passion in a million ways. <laughs> Touch it, make it twice before I cry. Heaven is a time today. These... There is something so genius about writing lyrics that are nonsense on purpose. I've said this before, and I think I said this in the uh, Daniel Thrasher Igawala reaction, where like writing nonsense but making it work cohesively as cohesive nonsense is an art form. There is a certain amount of skill to it. And artists who can make it seem effortless, like Daniel Thrasher or, or like this song, um, irritate me in the best way. <laughs> uh, because it seems effortless. I know it's not. I know it takes a lot to write anything. Um, and, you know, as a writer myself, as a songwriter, you know, writing absolute gibberish nonsense takes me forever, and, you know, sometimes I don't have the patience for it. And seeing this and having it seem so effortless, I'm like, man, I wish I, I had the, the patience to do something like this, because it's brilliant. It is so good. It is so well executed. You get exactly that feeling of this was something got lost in the translation, or, or English is clearly not their first language, and they're th singing to the best of their abilities what they think the lyrics would be in English. Um, and executing that so perfectly is just a really admirable skill. And uh, I 1000% respect the hell out of that particular skill because it's a skill I do not have and wish I did. <laughs> Here's the, yeah, the chorus. Random stock footage 
and clips of other things in there for no reason. It's like every 90s, early 2000s video I remember seeing. Uh, there is nothing to be said. How does it mean? That's a thing that, that seems to trip up people uh, when translating to English is sometimes the the beginning question, who, what, when, where, why, and how, get misused. Which one are you supposed to use in which case? Uh, it just that simple just changing of one word gives you that, yes, this is Euro Electronica from some other country uh, uh, singing their best approximation of what it translates to in English. It's, it's such a, it's one word that's changed and yet you get the impression immediately. And it's so good. And that chorus, that chorus is phenomenal. It is every 90s, 2000s, uh, early 2000s uh, dance electronica song, female vocalist, but also the random DJ who also thinks he's a rapper, throwing in ad libs of, come on, come on! Uh, just absolutely brilliant. Let's go, everybody go. <laughs> a sandwich and a dildo. <laughs> Urkel? And Urkel and then monkeys banging. Wh uh, whatever. Stock footage and then clips from TV. Again. It just random clips. There are so many dance videos that look like this. They are capturing that aesthetic so perfectly. Last week, I was talking about 1984's from Word Burglar, which captures that 1980's TV toy commercial aesthetic. It looks like it was shot on video. It has that degradation of watching it back on an old VHS tape. And this looks like all the 90s music videos, all the, the late 90s, early 2000s videos, dance electronica. I was working in a music store at this time, and just the amount of songs that I heard that sounded like this over the system that we played in the store, the videos when we had videos to show that looked like this, this is everything I remember about that particular time period and these type of songs. It's so good. Danger and Dance and Clapping the Hands. Man, there are some great... Like, it's great lyrics and also very evocative of the style that they're doing, but also the rhymes that they make work, even with the translation issues, are still so good. It, it really elevates the style. <laughs> Live, it never die. Women are my favorite guys. That's my favorite line. That's my favorite line of this whole song. It is so... Life, it never die. No. Life... That's the end of life is, is death. Li yeah, it, life always dies. Nothing lives forever. And also, women are my favorite guy. Man, it's just such a great, stupid line. I love it. I love it so much because it's just so simplistic and hilarious. And it just, it's just funny to me. And, and that's the point, right? Comedy is funny. That's what it's supposed to be. I love that. I, it, it's like the statement, comedy is funny. Yeah, that's what comedy is. Comedy is funny. Duh, no shit. Um, women are my favorite guy. It's just, it's an oxymoronic statement. Uh, comedy is funny is an oxymoronic statement. Um, but, like, life it never die. It's, it's, <laughs> life it never die. No, life does. Women are my favorite guy. Guys aren't women, and women aren't guys. Don't fight me on this one. Trans women are women, and trans men are men. Shut up. Uh, that's not the point of this. Uh, but 
it's a it's a funny line is what I'm saying. Anyway. Like, out of nowhere again. Like, I now have a good idea. World peace. Tell the world stop the war. In the middle of the song, after all of that, there was nothing talking about world peace other than that opening, and then almost two minutes into the song again. <laughs> Sex, I'm wanting more. Sure. Uh, it, and everything about the way he looks in this video, too, is... Like, the clearly spray-dyed hair, that unnatural orange-red color that doesn't move, trimmed so short. Uh, yeah. Now, clearly, this is the full video version, and all the versions that we were seeing on TikTok and Twitter and social media everywhere uh, was stuff that was shot specifically for the uh, horizontal no, vertical uh, format. The for format for looking at your phone without turning it on the side. The, the, the vertical format of uh, all the different Buljana electronicas. Clearly they were shooting it at different places in public. Uh, and this was clearly on studio sound stages or sets. Um, all of it genius. All the different versions genius. Love it. Boom, here the bass goes boom. Have a body, feel the groove. Have a body, feel the groove. Also, he's dressed as an angel and she's dressed as the Virgin Mary. Why? Why not? That was kind of always the question and answer for any of these videos. Why does this? Because we could. Alright, cool. Cyber system overload. Everybody move. That's the bet that's the other best line. Everybody movement. Not everybody move. Everybody movement. Again, lost in translation, just that slightly slightly off that you realize, you know, English isn't their first language. Just and it's not making fun of something like that. It's just kind of bringing the realization that commonality, you know, sometimes you find humor in the commonality of things you realize that, you know, there's that particular style of, of speech that is like, oh, you've almost got it, you're not quite there, and, you know, ev us having that shared experience of speaking with somebody or hearing somebody talk that doesn't have that, that that's where the humor derives from, not making fun of it, per se. The choreography... <laughs> become the human. Yes, because she is an alien. She's on the alien ship. They materialized her. This, it has a plot. That's, okay. <laughs> Just such great choreography. Oh, he's getting abducted. There... <sighs> Music videos are weird. Let's be honest. If they're anything other than the band performing the song and they're given some sort of plot, they're like little miniature movies, right? They're like little miniature movies that are just set to music. The song itself is is the soundtrack to this little mini movie that we're watching. It's kind of been the universal thing for music videos when they started making them like that. When it was more than just here's the band playing the song and you're watching that, it's a music video. It's you it's a video of the band or something tangentially involved with the band, and this is the story that they're hoping the song gives you a, an evocative notion of. This plot of the alien ship creating this songstress and then abducting the DJ, and if I'm not mistaken, 
the DJ is calling somebody in the tractor beam. While they're in the tractor beam, music videos are weird, man, and I love it. Holy shit. Hello, are you at fall? <laughs> <laughs> I love you and feel groove. Man, it's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. I love you too. I want the sex on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. And tonight, I will never die. That is good to me as well as that. <laughs> I will never, tonight, I will never die. That is good to me as well as that. There is so much joy in, there's a, there's a confidence in it, you know, like, yes, this is what the lyrics that I wrote mean. This translates perfectly. I am confident in this being what I'm trying to say. Uh, I want the sex on the phone. That is a very 90s sentiment anyway. Uh, yeah, no. Love this. That outfit of a vest with no shirt. And the E.T. touch and the whole... World peace. The future is the way of that. It's so good. Like holding a CD... Who buys CDs nowadays other than me? Not a lot of people. Um, but it's just so... It's just so evocative of that time period and that style. Top to bottom, front to back, 100%. Just an absolutely perfect pastiche. Bravo, Kyle Gordon and Associates. That's phenomenal. Yeah, and there's original 1997 VHS version of that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's hilarious and phenomenal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I sure as shit did. If you did, please show Kyle Gordon some love. Check out the video in the description uh, so you can see it without me yammering all over it. And if you liked this video, please... Like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out and support me like these people over here do, uh, you can consider, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool things. Anyway, that's all this week. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. I've got original Clue, cause the game is iconic But with updated suspects, just to be ironic I've got Clue dice and the one that says cards Or an escape room Clue, but it isn't too hard I've got the Liar's Clue and the Vegas Parody And some video game versions I can play on my screen 24 and Buster says I like those properties And this got the Wise Clue, cause I get the charities Of course I have the movie and the documentary too And this is for everyone who says I don't have a clue